Myth number one, Louis Latimer invented the light bulb. In 1802, Davy Humphrey created the first incandescent light when he passed an electrical current through a thin piece of platinum. In 1835, James Bowman Lindsay demonstrated a constant electric light at a public meeting in Dundee, Scotland. He stated that he could read a book at a distance of one and a half feet. In 1840, British scientist Warren de La Rue enclosed a coiled platinum filament in a vacuum tube and passed an electric current through it. In 1850, Joseph Wilson Swann began working with carbonized paper filaments in an evacuated glass bulb. By 1860 he was able to demonstrate a working device. Thomas Edison began serious research in the development of a practical incandescent lamp in 1878. Edison filed his first patent application for improvement in electric lights on October 14, 1878. He developed a successful carbon filament bulb, receiving a patent for it in January of 1880, before Louis Latimer did any work in electric lighting. Myth number two. Louis Latimer invented the carbon filament. This is an experimental carbon filament bulb created by Joseph Swan in 1878. Swan had been experimenting with carbon filaments made from paper, beginning in 1850. And this is a prototype of a carbon filament bulb, created by Thomas Edison in 1879. Davy Humphrey conducted experiments with electricity and invented an electric battery all the way back in 1800. When he connected wires to his battery and a piece of carbon, the carbon began to glow. The incremental improvements to the design and manufacture of carbon filaments from the first incandescent lamps up to the adoption of the tungsten filament are too numerous to count. We can at least get an understanding of what the most important innovations were by examining the historical literature dedicated to the development of the incandescent light. History of the Incandescent Lamp by John Howell and Henry Schroeder, 1927. Chapter 3 is titled, The Development of Filaments. The Electric Lamp Industry, by Arthur Ray Bright, 1949. There is much historical information on filaments throughout the book. The 1911 edition of Encyclopedia Britannica includes a section titled, Lighting. It describes the major steps in the evolution of filaments. A Century of Light, by James A. Cox. 1979. Includes a short review on how the filament evolved. Torch of Civilization, by Matthew Lukish. 1940. Includes a chapter titled, The Glowing Filaments. It is clear, from a review of these authoritative sources, that there were four major developments which stood out above the others. Number 1. Carbonizing an organic fiber, or thread. Joseph Swan and Thomas Edison developed methods of heating an organic thread, such as a cotton thread or bamboo fiber, in a closed furnace until only a carbon skeleton remained. 
This technique produced the carbon filaments used in the earliest successful incandescent light bulbs. Number 2. The Hydrocarbon Flashing Process The quality of the carbon filament was greatly improved by immersing it in an atmosphere of hydrocarbon gas and heating it with an electric current. Carbon deposits would build up on the thinnest weakest spots on the filament until all areas of the filament were of uniform width and resistance. This flashing process, which improved the efficiency and duration of the electric light, was originally patented by William Sawyer and Alban Mann. Other inventors patented similar processes for use in connection with their own lamps. Number 3. The Cellulose Filament The natural fibers used to make filaments were eventually replaced by artificially produced fibers made of cellulose. To manufacture the filaments, some cotton or other fibrous organic substance was chemically dissolved into a liquid cellulose solution which was then extruded into fibers and carbonized. The result was a tough, dense carbon filament that not only improved lighting efficiency, but also lends itself well to mass production techniques for the manufacture of incandescent lamps. Number 4. General Electric Metallized, or GEM, Filament Willis R. Whitney, in 1904 invented a new heating process which hardened the surface of the filament and led to reduced evaporation of the carbon. The ability to operate the lamp at higher temperatures increased the efficiency in lumens per watt by about 25% over a regular carbon lamp. Myth number three. Lewis Latimer helped the light bulb to last longer. There is a common misconception that Latimer made a new kind of filament or a longer lasting filament, but nowhere in the patent did Latimer suggest that the practice would improve the performance of the filament by any noteworthy degree. His stated purpose in the patent was to make the filaments less likely to break or change shape during manufacture. So, the question is, what, exactly, did Latimer do? Lewis Latimer's process of manufacturing carbons, patented in 1882, was not so much a new process as an incremental improvement of the old one which was already being used at Hiram Maxim's U.S. Electric Lighting Company, where Latimer worked. Latimer's idea was to protect the filaments in special envelopes, as they were carbonized, in order to reduce the chance of breakage during the process. There is no reason to assume that his method was adopted by other light manufacturers, such as Edison's company, which had their own manufacturing processes. Another patent, issued in 1881, to Latimer and co-inventor Joseph Nichols, for an alternative way of securing the carbon filament to metallic lead wires, was very similar to an earlier patent by Charles Perkins, of the same company. Perkins attached flat metal conductors to the lead wires and bent the conductors around the flat ends of the filament. Nichols and Latimer did a similar thing, but bent the conductors through holes in the flattened ends of the filament. Other methods of attachment were developed during the same time, the most common being to copper plate the ends of the filament to the lead wires. The copper plating method dominated until about 1886 when carbon paste adhesive started being used. <laughs> 